have a lot to answer for as far as Sonny's concerned. I, I walked out. And in walked the wicked stepfather. From a little kid's point of view. Yeah, a little kid who's still mad as hell. Can you blame him? I just wish we could start from now. Maybe one day you can. Well, um, you know, there might be some fallout here, meanwhile, and I'm sorry. Ah, hey, that's okay. We didn't expect no ant-free picnic, did we? Right. So, uh, would you um, like to see last night's report? No, Mike, I trust you. <coughs> oh, come. Beats the hell out of me. Have you ever thrown a party for Laura when what you really wanted to do was wring her neck? I love my wife's neck. Brenda's 21st is almost upon us. Oh, you're thinking of throwing a bash? Yeah, here, if you don't mind. Mind? Hell no. No, where else? I mean, what's the good of having a club if you can't throw your own parties, huh? Yeah. You know, um, speaking of that, do you think Brenda could be persuaded to an extend, uh, uh, like an open-ended invitation to some of those models that she hangs out with? You know, come in any time, no cover, no minimum, just dress up the bar. You might want to clean that up if you actually mean to approach her. Because, you know, I don't want to start it. Yeah, well, it's just a thought, I guess. Listen. Mm hmm? About Joe? Yeah. If we're going to set up this thing, and if it's going to work, Joe has to be convinced that you're seriously considering giving up a piece of the club. Or, or, or can you be convincing? Better yet, can you be nice to the guy for five minutes? Nice is a stretch. Convincing? Bring him on. How do you want to handle it? Well, I think it's about time I set up a meeting between you and Joe. Do it. All right. Scully. Hey, it's me. It's, uh, what I can do for you. I'm intrigued. I I've been working on Luke about getting you into the partnership. And? And he's, uh, he's getting there. Getting there's not good enough. I'm starting to lose patience, Sonny. Joe, you have to understand, Luke is a family man. He's just got to weigh out all the options. You know a little something about that. But he is willing to discuss it. Amicably. Look, I know you two got off on the wrong foot, but that's just personalities clashing. All you need to do is uh, open the lines of communication and ease them into a spirit of cooperation. Come on, you can do that in your sleep. I'm finding Luke Spencer more than a little tedious, but all right, for you, I'll indulge him a while longer. Just don't expect it to become a habit. Can you s stop by this evening? I'll be there. All right. See you later, Joe.
We're uh, not open for business yet. Do you make many tips with that attitude? Yeah, I only pull it out for the unwelcome customers. I don't think that's your call to make, doorman. Mike, Mike. You're the mayor today. We pay you to be friendly. Shape up, but you're on the street. Come on, Joe. That guy's got a fat mouth. Don't mind him. He means nothing. Spencer. Scully. Sonny thinks we should try this again. What do you think? I think I resent the hell out of you. This is why I come over here? Be insulted? Well, come right into town out of nowhere. Just suddenly I'm up to my ears in a shooting incident. All the same time I got this virtual stranger standing there with his grubby paws out, demanding that I turn over money for the pleasure of operating my own club. Yeah, I would say that I resent the hell out of you. So far, I'm not impressed with this effort at a new beginning. Well, I wasn't so sure I was going to be able to go that far. Then why am I here? Because I think it would behoove us to find a way to work together. So, let's see, Captain. Look, I've got no problem with this. A peaceful working relationship is all I'm after. That and a piece of my club. Well, under circumstances, maybe that isn't, uh... unreasonable. It's just that you weren't anywhere around when I was pouring out my heart and soul to get this place going. And so naturally, I would prefer to reap the profits solo. You brought Sonny as a partner. That was venture capital. What you're asking me to do is stupid. Just hand over money. It's your choice, Spencer. But you know how the game is played. I need more time. Look at this, a convention. Yeah. In the spirit of a new working relationship, I'm willing to give you more time. But don't drag your heels, Spencer. I'm not long on patience. And waiting around doesn't make me any money. I'll remember that. Sonny, I'll catch you later. See you later, Joe. How'd I do? You were right. Nice as a stretch. At least you bought us some time. Next. Did you notice those two earlier? I mean, they could not rip their eyes away from us. Probably expecting fireworks over what Joe did to Lucy. Well, whatever, man. Well, it gives me the creeps to be spied on my own joint, you know? Mike? Yeah, boss. Hey, if I haven't already blackballed the smarmy Siamese twins over there, it was an oversight. Well, you did say something about seating them in the parking lot, but I didn't know whether you were serious. If you want me to escort them out, I can't. No, well, not now, but do everything you can to make their stay an unpleasant one. Water down their drinks. Don't encourage their business. 